everyone, it's Paige Evans, and today I want to walk you through this mini album that I made. It is about our trip to the Kuykenhof Tulip Festival back in 2015, and it is currently 2017. So it just goes to show that you can still document your memories, even if it's years later. And also, I wanted to use a lot of floral papers, so pictures of the flower fields went along perfectly. So first, I die cut these envelope pockets from a cut file in the Silhouette store, and I will include the link to that below. I sewed across the top and bottom edges of each pocket so that it wouldn't come apart. I stacked them all together along with a pocket cut from white cardstock, and then I sewed down the center. And my sewing machine wasn't too happy with me about that process, but we got along in the end. <laughs> um, and then I wrapped the spine with a piece of washi tape for a little bit of decoration and then created the cover. And this is using all supplies from my Oh My Heart collection with Pink Paisley. These pins are from my stash. Um, so each pocket has a little pullout. And this one, let's see, has a photo, a family photo. So we went on April 14th, 2015, and then a favorite photo from the Tulip Festival. So that just slides right in. Opening to the first page, just a little bit of floral embellishing and then some journaling about the trip. In this pocket, I so I come, this cut file comes with cards and I cut the cards from plain white cardstock, not textured, just smooth. So I used a floral stamp from my Oma Heart collection to stamp the background, punched some butterflies, and then did a little bit of journaling. So that's the front and on the back it was all about these yellow flowers so I tried to include a lot of yellow embellishments. Slide that one back in, this page. So um, I needed some more white space because it was just very very colorful and dark and so to lighten it up so I could add photos that would stand out, I covered this page with a piece of vellum, and you will see this technique repeated throughout the album. And then I adhered photos with some pop dots and then tucked a die cut underneath. Here, before I glued it down, I stitched a chipboard sticker onto this flower that's been cut in half. And then I also splattered some white paint onto the background for some whimsy. In this pocket is some journaling all about the Koikenhof. And on the back, I fussy cut a flower, added some detailing, de some stitching details, and then the purple matches the purple in the flowers. Yeah, I also did a little bit of watercoloring on the background first. This spread, so it's about Chris, my husband, and the kids at the playground, and all about playing at the playground with some butterfly detailing. Also, an alternate way to create more white space, instead of using vellum, here I just painted the background and added a sprinkling of sequins. In this pocket, another family photo and one of my favorite photos inside. They have a, like a green greenhouse with lots of different kinds of flowers. This spread. Thumbs up, because I really love all of these colors. Just a photo of me. And then just a fun pocket. So I backed the edges of this with washi tape and then stitched on blue. What do you think the other side is going to say? 10 points if you guessed grow. So bloom and grow. That's just a fun extra, extra fun pocket. <laughs> So here, more journaling about the Koikenhof. I pretty much just copied and pasted the text from my blog and then printed it out using the font Remington Noiseless and trimmed it. Added a photo, again added some white paint so that the photo would stand out a little bit more. In this pocket, got another one of my favorite photos. I used, um, I printed the photos that I liked especially <laughs> a little bit larger to go inside the pockets. And on the back is just a whole bunch of little fun things. Try to fill up this card with little details. All right, this spread, well, more flowers. <laughs> and then this is about the 
Uh, let's see, it says, each year Koikenhof has a theme, and in 2015, to commemorate the 125th anniversary of Van Gogh's death, the theme was Van Gogh. The highlight of the theme is a 250 square meter flower bowl mosaic of the artist, made up of thousands of tulips and hyacinths, but when we were there, it hadn't bloomed yet. That's okay. Pull out pocket of a traditional windmill, and on the back, I used a border punch to um, create this textured background and little bird in the stick, a little bird sticker in the middle. The next spread, white paint topped with a little title, and then some more flower pictures. In this pocket, I just fussy cut a flower, and then I used spray adhesive to attach a floral photo on the back, and then kind of fussy cut it out again and then added a chipboard flower sticker to the center. Put that back in. This spread, I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to try and zoom in. I added stitching, hand stitching details to this page and then I cut it out and used spray adhesive to attach it. you can see that. And then on this page, once again I added vellum and then I splashed white acrylic paint, topped it with a word sticker, and put a flower or puffy sticker. In this pocket, all about this waffle, literally the best waffle I've had in all of Europe. They topped it with caramel and it was so good. And a little text all about it because it deserves its own its own little card. It's just that good. Come on, and last page, just some floral paper topped with a chipboard flower, and it says, in closing, we had an amazing day at the Quakenhaw Festival. There's still one more pocket, and it's leftover photos that I hadn't managed to fit in the mini album, so I just glued them on the front and on the back and wrote some journaling around the edges. So this came together really quick, especially with the help of a silhouette cameo to cut it out, although it's quite a simple design, so you could make it even without a machine. And then just sewed down the center and embellished, and I had a whole bunch of fun creating this, and I hope you were inspired to make one too. See you again next time!